The manufacture of the sixth generation fighter of the United States Air Force US, entered a new stage. The manufacture of this sixth generation fighter jet is estimated to require a budget of USD 1.7 billion or IDR 24.6 trillion. The creation of the US sixth generation fighter started the engineering, manufacturing, and development EMD program. The sixth generation fighter jet in the next generation air dominance NGAD, program is expected to be realized in 2030. We have now started the EMD program to carry out the development of the aircraft that we will produce. We think we'll have the capability by the end of the decade. The Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD, program covers platforms such as new manned combat aircraft, associated collaborative drones, weapons, sensors, and communications architectures. So basically, we have the X-Plane program, which is designed to reduce risk across some of the key technologies that we need for the production program. The cost for developing the sixth generation jet fighter NGAD program is estimated at IDR 24.6 trillion, included in the defense budget request for fiscal year 2023. Last month, according to Breaking Defense, Kendall told lawmakers that a manned NGAD platform would cost several hundred million dollars per plane because it will be the core of the NGAD ecosystem. It is unclear whether a prime contractor has been selected to develop the manned portion of the program or even a larger segment. However, it remains unclear whether there will be a single prime contractor on any of the platforms in the NGAD program. Of course, Lockheed, Boeing, and Northrop Grumman are all strong candidates to tackle this EMD stage. This includes possible decisions about who will do certain parts to start the EMD phase. As previously noted, the NGAD program for sixth-generation fighter jets is a broad development to create the systems that will ensure U.S. tactical air dominance for decades to come. It includes a highly adaptable and manned platform with substantial range, enhanced survivability, and the latest generation of modular sensor capabilities. The NGAD program is not just about the platform, we mentioned being a system unit. Part of the system's unity includes the development of unmanned combat aircraft. Two years ago, Will Roper, then Air Force Assistant Secretary for Acquisition, Technology and Logistics, revealed that the Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD program had begun covert flight testing. A full-scale prototype has been developed, but this is not the final concept but the starting point for the development of the sixth generation aircraft. In 2020, despite being under wraps from the public, the US Air Force is known to be conducting tests of this prototype. US Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall said that this sixth generation fighter entered the US Air Force's next generation air dominance NGAD system. We think we'll have power by the end of the decade, he said of the future of the aircraft at an event at the Heritage Foundation. Sixth-generation fighter jets will be equipped with new technology, for example, new weapons capabilities, new sensor systems, and autonomous command and joint missions with unmanned aerial vehicles. What we do is an experimental prototype. In principle, we have the X aircraft program, which is designed to reduce the risk of some of the key technologies we need for our production program, Kendall said. There is a lot of mystery in this sixth-generation aircraft program because there are no official documents that provide information about the manufacturer of this fighter. All that is known is that in the coming years 2021 to 2025, the U.S. government is planning nearly USD $10 billion for this project. In the last 2021, the United States allocated USD $1 billion under the NGAD program, and for 2022, it is USD $1.5 billion. The USAF report presents conceptual drawings of the sixth-generation fighter and estimates it is a fighter jet with two engines and a flying wing-like design. This fighter jet uses digital engineering and flexible software development, which should greatly facilitate the development and integration of future fighters into the U.S. Air Force.